Hi and welcome to another iWeb tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to upload or to add, sorry, your Twitter status to your iWeb page. To do this, navigate to your browser and open up your Twitter page. Make sure that you've also logged into your Twitter account. Now go down to the bottom of the page and click on goodies. Next click on widgets. Then click on my website and then click on profile widget. Your username should be entered automatically into the username uh, text box. As you can see here it is made a uh, widget which can be put onto any website and that's roughly what it will look like when you go to implement it onto the website. Obviously you can change some settings, you can um, obviously you can <coughs> add different objects to it, um, the amount of tweets that you want and then once you've just once you've changed all the settings click test settings and it will refresh and there we go, it's updated, now it's showing six tweets um, and it's showing all my avatars. I am, I'm actually not going to show my avatars on this one. Update it. See, I look, I've, personally I think that looks a bit more cleaner. Um, we can next go on to appearance and we can change the uh, link font color. I will probably change it to turquoise or light blue. That looks quite nice. And then click done. Um, and I'm probably going to leave the background colour. I might just change it slightly. I might change the grey slightly to about there. That looks quite nice. Click done. And then you can also change your dimensions. I personally will probably keep that same dimension, but you can you can obviously change it um, when you you are within your website. So let's go ahead and grab the code. So click finish and grab code. Now what you want to do is you want to click in it, it should select it all. Right click, copy, or for the keyboard shortcut on the Mac it's command C or it's control C for Windows. Next, navigate to iWeb. Pick a spot on your website I'm going to move this picture over here for the moment. Next, you want to click Show Media. Navigate to Widgets. Click and drag a HTML snippet into your window on your iWeb page. Click into the box, Command V to paste in the code, or you can click right click and paste. And as you can see, it's put all the code into the uh, text box there. So what you want to do now is click Apply. And there you go. There's your Twitter status update, nice and neat, on your web page as you want it. And you can rearrange all your text so it looks nice and neat. Just like so. And there we have it. There's the lovely Twitter profile update there for you. And as you can see, I tweeted 10 minutes ago saying I'm planning on buying the TomTom Tom iPhone application tomorrow, which I hopefully will. Um, but there we have it. Um, always make sure to save your work. Command S will save the work. Or you can click File and Save. Thank you very much for watching this iWeb tutorial. Please subscribe to my Twitter profile at Dauntless Eagle. If you have any questions or queries, you can Twitter me on Dauntless Eagle or you could send me an email at contact at dauntlesseagle.co.uk and make sure to check my website at www.dauntlesseagle.co.uk 
Thank you very much. Please rate, comment and subscribe and I look forward to hearing your replies and comments. Thank you very much guys. Good night.